Hello, Coach Stephen here from RenegadeGolfTraining.com. In today's instructional video, I want to deal with what we consider to be the best postural exercise for maintaining spine angle through your golf swing. I'm joined here by one of our interns here at Renegade Golf, Stacy. She's going to demonstrate for us today. Now, let's just review why this is so important. As you all know, flexion kills rotation. So, as you start getting forward with the shoulders, head comes forward, arms turn inward, it's going to reduce uh, and inhibit your, both your backswing and your follow through. Nothing good happens from, from this uh, kind of posture. Also, late in a round, if you, uh, maybe you're playing well up to 13th, 14th hole, then, then you have a tendency to fall apart. Oftentimes, that can just be the endurance of the upper back muscles. Uh, getting tired, you start hanging off your ligaments, you lose your spine angle, uh, i.e. early extension, and all of a sudden, you know, bad things start to happen, both with your accuracy and your power. So, to prevent this, we're going to work on what's called the prone cobra exercise. So I'm going to have Stacy lie down prone, face down. <clears throat> now, a few key notes here. Uh, step one, feet are together. Step two, you're going to engage your glutes. Step three, you're going to come chest off the floor just a couple of inches, looking straight down toward the floor. Then she's going to externally rotate her hands, which is opening up this way, and she's going to push her shoulder blades together and down. So what we're training here is the upper back musculature. Again, the muscles that will help you maintain spine angle throughout your golf swing. This is not intended to be a lower back exercise. If you feel a lot of stress in your lower back, one of two things uh, are happening. Number one, either your feet are off the floor, that will cause stress here, or your glutes aren't engaged, and or you've come too high off of the floor. Though all those things will put stress in the lower back. Our goal is to, is to work and stress only these muscles of the upper back, bring them to down and together. Good, we'll have Stacy come down and rest for a moment. Our goal with this exercise is to uh, work 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We'll keep that two to one work to rest ratio. Our first initial goal will be six times 30 seconds, so three minutes total. And then as you get stronger and your endurance builds up in these upper back muscles, you can start reducing the number of sets it takes to get to that three minute total. For example, three times one minute, two times a minute and a half, and then eventually, maybe a month or two down the road, you'll be able to get one set straight through three minutes. At that point, we consider you a rock star, and you'll be able to hold your spinal angles and posture through your golf swing much better, and you'll absolutely see an improvement. So once again, just to, just to recap, feet together, engage the glutes, chest comes off the floor only two to three inches, externally rotate the hands. If you get confused which way we're going on this, it's easy to, it's easy to solve the mystery. It's the harder way. It's going to always be harder to open the hands up like this than it is to turn them down. So remember, always opening up, right? Now, a lot of you guys will have a, a, an issue getting your hands anywhere near as externally rotated or as close to the body as Stacy. It could very well be that you're all the way out to here initially. That's fine. You'll still get the benefit, but you want to get them in closer. Another funny thing is you may feel your triceps really engaging, and they may be sore the next day because we're trying to externally rotate against the tighter chest pec muscles. Finally, make sure you look straight down. People often look up. That places undue stress on the neck and can further exaggerate forward head posture. So we're going to look straight down, hold 30 seconds on, 15 off, six, uh, six sets, three minutes total. Good. Come on down there. Thank you, Stacy. So there you have it. Test out the prone cobra for yourself. See the uh, benefits of it on the course, especially later in the round. Let's get after old man Parr.